How you doing guys? This is Adrian Jr. with Sin City Outdoors. And if you guys are a new subscriber real quick, I want to say welcome to my channel and everything. We're going to be posting a lot of outdoor videos. We have been for a while. If you guys have been subscribed, thank you a lot. And today I'm pretty excited. Uh, I've been wanting to get out coyote hunting for a long time and it's actually happening today. We're meeting up with some dudes from Utah. You guys have seen them before in some fishing videos. And uh, they're hidden instinct. They're on Instagram and everything. They're they're real big in the coyote hunting and just all out outdoors and everything. So they're real cool guys. We're meeting them up. We traveled up north a bit towards Utah, so we're meeting somewhere in between. Not gonna tell you guys the exact locations. I don't want to give away spots or anything. And we actually woke up at 2:30, so we woke up really early, but we're pretty excited. So since I have some extra time, I'm updating my Insta. As you guys can see right here. Let's see if you can see that. Yep my Instagram I try to post pretty much every day and this is a definitely a more up-to-date with what we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis when I first started my YouTube channel I wasn't really pushing this at all and now I'm starting to realize that there's a little bit of an importance to it so if you guys can I mean go check me out link will be in the description and we'll see how we do just stay tuned and enjoy Better beware, a hit squad's coming after you. So we just got out here. Um, we're at the hidden instinct, guys. We're gonna make our first set. Got all the guns and everything ready. Cameras ready. Let's go get a couple coyotes. So we usually wait about day. about 20, 30 minutes before switching? Uh, yeah, about 20. About 20. Yeah. yeah. We'll move up the road and hit the next one. So we hit our first stand here, about 20 minutes, if nothing, then we'll move on and go into our second one. Let's go. So now that it's daylight out, you guys can kind of see, there's the whole thing we're looking over, first stand over. It's Garrett down there. That's Micah. Coyotes. My dad volunteered to grab all the stuff while I filmed this little section, but the sun's just starting to come over and moving on to our next stand. We only sit each stand about 20 minutes, they say. And when you stand up, before you leave, you always want to look over the horizon one more time because it might still be running in, but moving on to the next stand, I hope we can get some. All right, so we crammed into their truck and, uh, we're riding up to all these spots that are out in the middle of nowhere. This truck's pretty good. All right, guys, we're out here. And right here, this is Micah. How's it going, guys? He's with uh, Hidden Instinct. And over here, we have Garrett, his partner in crime, coming up to a stand. Let's see stand if we number two. My, Micah's pretty, it's going to happen on this one, so we'll see. All right, let's do it. They're letting me borrow their chair. <laughs> nice. Okay, we just finished our second stand. Didn't quite get anything on this one either. There was a bunch howling, but they were pretty far out. And then Mika let me borrow his chair. Worked out great. There it is right there. Life changer, isn't it? Yeah, really is. <laughs> Life changer. It's dad's turn next time. Next time. Yep. All right, so we're heading to stand five. And Garrett here is gonna tell us 
what he's looking for and how far a distance between stands. So out in this wide open country that we're hunting right now, I try to, we usually try and get at least a mile in between stands, kind of depending on wind direction and whatnot, but kind of that mile is a standard that we try to get, you know, in between stands. If it's a little tighter country, you know, rolling hills, thicker trees, we'll get in, you know, we might only go half, three quarters of a mile in country like that. So yeah, on this wide open, trying to get a mile and then trying to find somewhere to hide the truck. That's a tough part. All right. You guys all right back there? Yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> comfy. <laughs> Spent a lot of time back here. Yeah. Many, many trips in the back of the seat. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. I couldn't get him stopped on that thick stuff, bud. Yeah. I had to Stop shotgun man. him. <laughs> wow, he came within 10 yards. <laughs> did you get muzzle blasted? Yeah. Did you a I'm little good. bit? I'm good, though. I made sure I was out around you. Yeah, I saw that line he was coming on. Yeah. And then I, I couldn't stop him down there. It was too far, and I was hoping he'd come up here in the yellow, but he came right through that thick stuff, so he didn't even get a shot on that side. Yeah, that came. one came running straight in at us, thought I was going to get attacked or something. Ready to kill my foot out and everything. Did you even see him in your scope? Yeah, I saw him. I was following him all the way in, but he wouldn't stop. He was running. It was thick like this, and he was running in between the bushes. Couldn't shoot, and when they get too close, that's when he has to use the shotgun or else you can't save the pelt or anything. Still all right by me, though, because it's the first time we've ever witnessed a coyote coming into a call. So we found the coyote and um, there it is, it's being hauled off. A little bit too bloody for some of our viewers, so we won't show it up close. But um, he came within probably 10 yards of us and then Garrett had to use a shotgun because he never stopped. We tried to get him to stop, he didn't. And um, pulled up the shotgun and shot him at 10 yards. So we're coming up to stand four, we're doing a drop stand. He dropped us off. We're gonna go ahead and walk out here and he's gonna drive away. We're gonna start calling. And last stand we actually got one. Uh, we had to get him with a shotgun. He got so close, that was pretty cool. So let's see if we can get one more right here. It'd be awesome. What stand is this? Number six, I think. Six, no coyote. <laughs> yep. I figure on a normal day, about every third or fourth one, we'll call something in, if that's a normal day. But things haven't been very normal this year. Yeah. They're all either a whole bunch all in a row, or it's just nothing forever. <laughs> yeah. Okay guys, I think we're at the seventh stand right now. The spot is looking good, so let's go ahead and take a look. Alright, we got skunked on this stand. Another one. There goes my ankle. Awesome. <laughs> nice. Holy crap, Woo. I got my heart going. Oh, when man. I seen he was on your side, I was just, I'm like, look at this. 
Yeah. yeah. I'm freaking shaking. Uh, I've been doing this for 19 years. Look at that. Look at this. Hold that out there again. <laughs> Literally. I do like it. All right, man, what do you got? My first coyote ever. First coyote ever. <laughs> yeah. We got two in the truck today. It's been kind of a rough day, but man, this is awesome. It's so fun when it happens. <laughs> nice work, dude. Nice Thank shot. You. Thank you. So we're calling at this, uh, I think it's our ninth set today. And how long do you think we were calling, maybe? Uh, we were just over 10 minutes. Just over 10 minutes, and he started running in probably about 75 yards and <laughs> drilled them. Nice, dude. Drilled them. My first coyote ever. That's making me feel so much better about the day now. Oh, I know. I was, I was kind of bummed. I was like, man, the one we got came in on a shotgun range. I'm stoked. I'm so happy right now. I'm skinned. They look like a greyhound. The front of their chest is only a few inches wide. They're not big bodies because they're furred up so much. All right. You shot it. You drag it. <laughs> Is that a pretty not, good day? It's not bad, especially considering there was a Nevada State Championship about half an hour down the road yesterday. So when we come out <laughs> in the, just in the main part of the desert, I'll take it. I'm stoked. It's yeah. awesome. Yep, we'll take it. So they say this is actually a pretty big coyote, and we were all using that call right there. No, that's a really good day. We never called in coyotes oh, before. Oh, so. it was a great day for sure. Yeah, yep. that's, absolutely. That's about all you can ask for is getting somebody there first, man. That's it's about right there now you're hooked yeah <laughs> we're going out a lot more now so we had a great day out here hunting coyotes with the hidden instinct guys i want to thank you guys for hey, inviting me it out it was awesome man I'm glad we got a couple the, yeah the it's little time. the ropes and everything and hopefully we can do it again sometime but for sure yeah we'll keep other, in contact we'll get out again yeah they're not if you guys want to say something or anything but yeah, if you like coyote hunting, uh, come check out our channel. That's pretty much about all we do anymore in the wintertime. So, yeah, plenty of videos on there. Got a few how-tos and stuff. Uh, showed them how to skin the first coyote and uh, have a ton of how-tos on there with that kind of stuff. So, check it out if you're interested. All right, thanks, guys. Appreciate yep, thank it. Thank you, guys. No problem. Yeah, these guys are really good at coyote hunting, but other than that, thanks for watching us. See you outdoors. <laughs>